Thanks for joining me for our devotions on this fourth Sunday of Advent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Desire for Mercy Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. From the first chapter of Luke's Gospel. In Mary we see all the beauty of Advent concentrated. She is the one in whom the waiting of Israel is most fully and most purely manifested. She is the last of the remnant of Israel for whom God shows his mercy and fulfills his promises. She is the faithful one who believed that the promise made to her by the Lord would be fulfilled. She is the lowly handmaid, the obedient servant, the quiet contemplative. She indeed is the most prepared to receive the Lord. The abbot of Genesee Monastery said that we should desire not only the first coming of Christ in his lowly human gentleness, but also his second coming as the judge of our lives. I sensed that the desire for Christ's judgment is a real aspect of holiness and realized how little that desire was mine. Now I see better how part of Christian maturation is the slow but persistent deepening of fear to the point where it becomes desire. The fear of God is not in contrast with his mercy. Therefore, words such as fear and desire, justice and mercy, have to be relearned and re-understood when we use them in our intimate relationship with the Lord. Lord God, we have a yearning for your mercy. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day.